Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. I know I haven't been on YouTube for like a week. I'm really sorry. I've been like really busy. I just got a new job. I'm really happy. And I know I didn't finish part two of my other video. So today I'm thinking of finishing it. All right now I'm just waiting for my sister because we're going to go to the store. We got to go run errands. Oh my God, the glare of the glasses. Okay, so today... I'm going to talk to you guys about the situation that happened in my other video. So basically, I quit my other job. I was a dishwasher. I know it's not that, it's not like a professional job or anything. My manager would always tell me like that I didn't take my job serious and that it was a professional setting, but I honestly don't know what's so professional about washing dishes. I would wash like a stack of trays, buckets, everything. It would be like a freaking mess. And uh, honestly, I, I didn't have a problem with the job. It was just like the people around me. I lasted there for like four years. And I got mad first when they told me I didn't I I got mad first because they told me I couldn't get my vacation pay. I was supposed to get like two weeks since I had been working for them for four years. And they told me I couldn't get my two weeks paid off, paid vacation. So that got me mad. That was the first thing that got me mad, but I still stayed. I had like, I think, three and a half years. No, I had four years already, and I asked for it. And she's like, no, you're not going to get a vacation. And I was like, all right, then, whatever. And I asked for the day off uh, because I wanted to go to a concert. And I usually don't take days off. I usually work all the time. I, and I, I don't know, I like working all the time. I... I guess you could say I'm a hard work. <laughs> but that was the first thing that got me mad. And the second thing that got me mad, I I stayed there for a bit. I was looking for another job. I applied at Olive Garden. Um, but I didn't get hired because during the interview, I said that I would quit, quit my other job on the spot if they hired me. And I guess that was pretty bad. So that's why they didn't hire me at Olive Garden. Other than that, they would have hired me right there. Um, so I'm rambling. But... The reason why I quit my job, my dishwasher job. Okay, so sorry they interrupted me again. If it's not Lupe, it's my mom. Or it's somebody else. Of or it's a stupid dog barking. So I was saying that I went to the doctor on a Sunday. And I wasn't going to be back until Wednesday. And she was giving me attitude. She was like, oh, I'm going to fire you if you don't have your doctor's note. You better bring it to me like ASAP. And I told her, okay, I have the doctor's note, like, don't even trip. And I was even going to send her the message, like, the, the notes. So then I got back to work. She talked to me. She's like, oh, we need to talk. And I was like, what the heck? Why do you need me? We need to talk. I already gave you the doctor's notes. Like, we're done with this. Okay, so... I had not got any warnings. I never got in trouble. Uh, with my old boss, not even with this manager, I had not gotten in trouble. She'd barely been there for like a few months. So she told me she needed to talk to me. And then I went upstairs where I guess all the conference was at. And she had her brother. She's like, oh, this is my witness. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. What the fuck is this about? Like, a witness. So then she said, oh, well, you were sick and it's unacceptable. And... Who is gonna wash the dishes when there's nobody here? And I told her, well, you hired other dishwashers. What are what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to put somebody else if I'm not here. Like if I'm in the hospital dying or some shit, then you're supposed to put somebody else. So yeah, she was like trying to make me feel bad for being sick and it didn't work. Like I already know all the tricks. And yeah, she, she wrote a note. She wrote me a note. And she gave it to me and she said, oh, well, sign this paper and next time just tell us that you're going to be sick and that you're not going to come into work. Like I said, this is unacceptable and whatever. And I didn't sign the paper. I told her straight up, I'm like, I'm not going to sign this shit. And I didn't tell her I'm not going to sign this shit, but I was like, I'm not going to sign the paper. And I took a picture of it, but I didn't even read it. But from what she said, she's, they both said, oh, sign it and then we'll be good. Just tell us next time that you'll be sick. And I told her, you know what? I'll sign it when you give me my first one. When you give me my first warning. Because I it, I guess it was my second warning. She's like, this is your second warning. 
And I was all like, I'll sign it when you give me my first one. And her brother was like shook, shocked, whatever. He was like pale because he didn't really know what was going on. And I told her, where's my first one? She's like, I have copies of it. And I was like, in my head, I was like, how, the, how are you going to have a copy if I never signed anything? So basically, if I were to sue, she would have got like a fake, fake ass signature. So that's what happened. And so I left downstairs and we were just, before I left downstairs, we were just arguing like, oh, I'm not going to sign it. Where's my first one? She's like, I have copies, you signed it. And she thought I was recording with my phone. So that's why she said that. She's like, oh, I, you signed it and I have copies. And I'm like, where's my copy at? And she didn't want to give me the copy, obviously, because that shit didn't exist. And I went downstairs and I still, I, I was still working. And I worked until my break. And I remember there was a shitload of dishes and I fucking left all that shit. I was like, fuck this shit, I'm out, fuck this job. And my other coworkers went before I punched out. Like, they were looking at me like, like what the heck happened when she was upstairs because they were like little cheese muscles and shit. And they were like looking at me like, what, what happened? And since that day, I never went back. And actually, the thing is, when I got home, I didn't, I was really mad. I was really mad and I didn't, I read the note and it said, and when you sign this paper, your employment will be terminated. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, she just wanted to fire me because I was sick for like four days. And they were only that mad because they had to wash the dishes themselves. Because like I said, this was a family company. And they were just mad because the other girl didn't show up either. And they had to do their own job by themselves. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. That's why I quit. That's why I left, I guess. That's why I quit slash got fired. And honestly, no regrets. I'm at a way better place. And you know, she's never gonna find a worker like me because I lasted there four years. And I'm not trying to be conceited, but it's pretty hard to stay right there because people always are in and out. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> and yeah. So I think that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm probably gonna do a little vlog. Probably, I don't know. But I'll see you guys in the next video.